guys, the Flow Toys app. Minor, major update. Finally, I know it's been too long, but we have been hard at work on the back end, smoothing things out, fixing bugs, and a little bit of front end stuff, smoother UI and uh, connection flow. And also significantly, we now have a direct song file uh, loader in the app. So you directly load files from your device instead of downloading it from a YouTube rip link thing that turned out to not be appropriate uh, to have in an app and can't do that anymore anyway. So now it was kind of a big deal to put in, but you can load files. And I'm going to go over kind of a quick getting started with the app. So you're going to want to go to the connection page to connect your props and you're going to need a Floatoys bridge. Turn it on and it should pop up in the connection page. You can also rename the bridge and set whether it auto connects to your app or not so that uh, whenever you turn the bridge on it will just automatically connect and also find any props that you have. To connect your props I have the um, FlowJam Poi here which I'm actually I've connected to all these props in the back. I'm just going to disconnect from these so that I can show you how you go and click on the thing and it's going to say Connection required, you gotta click the button five times. Let's go to page five, mode one. This is kind of like the security feature, so nobody can connect to your prop unless you're in this mode, which is unusual. Um, and then you can uh, connect once they're in that page, although I connected these earlier, so they just automatically connected. And you can set whether your props auto-connect. Now, we can go over to modes and control all the props, put them all in fire, which is a really great effect with a lot of props in a dark room. And you can go down to the bottom to adjust any mode that you're in. There's multiple adjusts. Now we have kind of a blue fire theme going on. And I'm actually a big fan pink fire. And maybe I want to, I'm really loving that effect. So I'm going to hit the little heart button to save it to my likes and get a little pop-up, which you can say, don't show again. And then I could go over to my lists and there I've got my first liked mode. You can create custom lists and then you can go into that list and go to autoplay. And so if you make a list, like we have uh, Flow Toys lists, like Fuego is a pretty sweet list. And if I go into autoplay there and play, uh, let's see, oh, you gotta pick one of the modes first, it's autoplaying. Auto plays global, so it's gonna auto play wherever you're at. And that way, like right now, every eight seconds, it's changing mode, but especially for the video, so you can really see that, I'm gonna go and make that um, significantly shorter down to like two seconds. And it's playing. So now the modes are gonna change every two seconds through a bunch of different modes adjusted to have a fiery effect to them. And that's one of my favorite playlists. You set that in autoplay and then you can lock the app and put it away as long as the bridge is still on. It'll keep going through that while you spin and you can set the duration to whatever you like. This is one of my favorite features of the app, honestly. But it can do a lot of other awesome, cool stuff. Um, you have your global controls up here, including the global brightness. So if you want to save a bunch of battery, we can turn them all down. Or you want to really impress everyone, you can turn them all up. and. Uh, I'm just going to leave it about halfway default right now. And there is, what other functions do we have here? Uh, there's your prop favorites. That's kind of an esoteric one. If you have favorites saved in your prop, you can access them from this page in the app. And there's a lot of fun stuff you can do with that. And actually you can, uh, whatever mode it's in from the controls, you can save to your props favorites page. This is a super useful feature actually to save whatever mode you're in directly to your props so you can ask, access it without the app and also do other cool things. Another huge feature is shows. So building shows, um, if you go to create a new show, pick a couple of modes, you can edit these all later in the show builder and create show. You then have to uh, name your show. I'm just gonna do a test and you can add a song. It's a big new thing. You can add it from your Apple Music Library, or if you're on Android, it's uh, just the files. Honestly, even with Apple Music Library, you have to have the correct rights to the song to be able to use it. 
and it's hard to even tell if you do or not. So unless you really know what you're doing, I would just go to direct file loader and uh, here I have my recent files and I can pick a song and it generates a waveform for the song. And then you can set uh, the how many iterations of the mode you have. So if you want like fast changes or whatever, and this just kind of gets you started. And so now I have my, um, my pop-ups, I'm not gonna see that again. I have my show started and I can zoom in and see the waveform and go and like adjust the cues of the various things. Or is my phone clicky thing not working? There we go. Um, to points on the song. And uh, as it plays and scrolls through, you can see it's just changing all the props based on the few modes that I put in there. Now to control different props, right now I have, these are called the super groups up in the corner and I'm controlling all of the groups that are connected to the app. But I could go in and say, I only, and you see how they flash? So you can see like which one's which. Um, and I flash the flow jam poi. It's making the poi, in case you can't see that clearly, making the poi flash like, oh, that's those ones. Okay, I'm gonna have group A be just the flow jam poi and group B maybe will be the composite spokes and the sticks and group C will be just the clubs. Now I can actually go and create a show with a different timeline for each one of those groups. And like group A is actually whatever is in super group A. So I could also switch which groups are being controlled. Um, anyway, that's kind of the more advanced features. Basically, uh, though, you get immediate access to all the pages of modes, even if you just want to go into page 13 and find your favorite mode there. It's a really great way to experiment. Um, let's see, we're only controlling the poi right now. So I'm gonna engage everything and go over. It's a really great way to go and explore page 13 and the different modes. Um, even if you're not using the app, you can learn about them and then just directly access them through the prop later. And then you can also go in and play with the adjusts and actually adjust the two parameters separately directly and uh, you can turn on adjust in the props. You can randomize adjusts so that they all turn different colors, which is really handy, um, especially if you have juggling clubs and you want them each to be a different color. Uh, you can keep randomizing until you find a color combo that you like and uh, save to playlists and I don't know, it's great.